Welcome everybody to my Fallout 76 Silent Sniper build. This is one of the most dominant classes in Fallout 76, especially for PvE, because you can just take out lots of enemies really quick, really deadly, and not even be seen. Let's go into our point system. Now we have three extra points we can use anywhere, and you can place that how you want. It really doesn't matter. It's just to your liking, especially if you want to use specific things in certain classes. The only one you can't really add anything to is perception and, ag and agility because they're already maxed out. On the strength, uh, we just got blocker. Take 15% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. It's just if, you're, if they're up close and you're hitting you, it's a little bit less damage taking down. Uh, next up on perception, you got all three riflemen. They give the 60% bonus damage. Uh, then we got Sniper. You gain improved control and hold your breath 6% longer. You don't need 3 points on it. And we don't have room for 3 points. 6% uh, is well enough. Then we got Tank Killer. We're only using 2 points in that because Riflemen having that 5% more damage is better. Your rifles ignore 24% of armor and 60% chance to stagger. Next up is long shot. Your rifles have 20% more range and even more accuracy. I would love to have three points, but we're limited in perception, so we're going to go with only two points in this, but that's really amazing to have. you got to have all these. Endurance, you can use whatever you like here. On Charisma, Lone Runderer, or you can use the other one if you're in a party, um, but this is, for instance, if you're playing by yourself, being a lone sniper in PvE, and you just take 20% less damage and gain 3% AP regen, which is really amazing, especially for this class. That's why I really like it. And then Suppressor, reduce your target's damage output by 30% for 2 seconds after you attack. Really amazing. Uh, it's, it's another way to stop damage being put out, and if your one of your TP party members are being attacked, you can hit the, shoot their creature that's attacking them, they have a little bit less damage for 2 seconds, and you can keep popping them like if you're doing crowd control. It's really awesome. Going on to intelligence, of course, gunsmith. You've already seen in my other videos, I like using gunsmith to stop your weapons from breaking as fast. They go down really quick, especially if you're farming an area. And if you don't, haven't been collecting materials because you've been farming, you know, it's just a little harder. Now on to agility. We, of course, got evasive. So you take less damage because of all these points in agility. Going on to sneak. You have a 75% harder detection while sneaking which is really amazing for this class because you're going to be silent and you don't want to be detected especially when you're down range you're, it's really hard to detect you your range sneak attacks do 2.5 normal damage it's really amazing all that damage and you're going to need it especially if you're going to be one shotting people from a distance next up is escape artist sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth really amazing for the stealth build especially if you're in a heat of combat and you're moving around drop yourself down to avoid detection so you can get another times two sneak damage or 2.5 since we're using our where is he at there it is covert operative uh, next up is dodgy avoid 30% of incoming damage across 30 action points per hit we have plenty of action points it's plenty of fine and you need this especially if you have a distance and you're getting shot at by multiple different people from a distance you're gonna take a lot less damage and you live a lot longer especially since you're not one of those brute strength bonus strength bust ups like my other classes like the tank build next is action boy or girl your action points regenerate 30 percent faster especially when you're doing a lot of different things especially if you're using fats or anything like that and working with dodgy they regenerate faster so you can keep on you know taking damage uh, moving on to luck, this is the first time I actually put a lot of points in luck for any of my builds if you've watched them. First up is Serendipity. While below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage. So if you're being hit from a distance a lot and you're starting to go down in the health and you're, you got your dodgy on, so your dodgy is taking it. If you do get hit, you're taking 30% less. And with Serendipity, you might avoid, there's a half, a, basically a half a chance to avoid damage while you're below. Uh, next up is Bloody Mess. Usually in my build you see that I had it on 5% the first level of Bloody Mess. On this one we're using 15% bonus damage to enemies and they can explode into a glory red paste. Really amazing. And then Tormentor, your rifle attacks have a 15% chance to cripple a limb so if your, your shot doesn't kill a creature like it's a bigger creature or a stronger creature or a higher level creature, you at least can cripple its limbs. 
Hope you guys enjoyed my silent sniper rifle build. Definitely will be bringing you guys more as I'm preparing and making these and also testing them out. Hope you guys enjoy them. I'll see you guys later.